morning, Foothill. I'm Taryn. And I'm Aaron. And you're watching show 14. Of How Well Do You Know Foothill's Rivals? FTV's Kyle's son and Mitchell's sign survey nights to see who our ultimate rival is. Who is Foothill's biggest rival? Tustin. 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 Tustin Tillers. Tustin Tillers. Tustin. 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 Park. <laughs> Tustin. The University, the University of, of Arkin, Arkin Pringles. Pringles. Thank you. Who's for his rival? Santa Ana. Who is for his rival? With the recent fad of the hoverboard, reporter Kyle Sun and Mitchell Signs go to see if teachers are caught up with the times and are able to ride the hoverboard. My name is Kyle Sun. I'm running a hoverboard. You're watching FTV. How are you? Yes, I know what it is. Um, I, the first time I saw one was uh, this summer when I was in London, and uh, the salespeople at Harrods actually ride them around the technology part of the uh, store. Do you know what this is? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know what that is. It's a uh, hoverboard. I, I think I've seen them at like the mall. Uh, you know, there's kiosks that sell them, and I've seen uh, people like work out on them. So you know, I've seen a couple of them. So what are your past experiences with skateboards or any kind of balance boards? Um, I don't really have a lot of experience uh, with skateboards or balancing on things. Um, I have no, actually none. <laughs> uh, um, what are your past experiences with skateboards or any kind of balance boards? Growing up, I was always um, top heavy. So I, I, I'm like the worst person at balancing. I suck at snowboarding, I suck at skateboarding, I suck at anything boarding related. <laughs> So what do you think of these other boards? I think it's totally fun. I think um, I'm way better at it than Mr. Lee is. Do you think they should be school friendly? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I, I really wish I had a segue, but for these things, I don't know, it might be pretty crazy with like thousands of students riding these around. Um, maybe sometime in the future. <laughs> Reporter Michaela Manning and photographer Kat Villanueva caught up with the club leader Jessica Schultz to learn more about health clubs. Hi, I'm Michaela Manning and I'm with FTV and we're here today to get the straight scoop on the health club. So Jessica, what is the health club about? Um, the health club is a fundraising club and we are trying to raise money for this organization called PASA and it's the Pediatric Orthopedic Society of North America, which basically means um, it looks at bone and muscular issues in children and so we're just trying to fundraise for that and we're also trying to raise awareness for healthy living on campus. So Jessica, what is your mission with this club? Well, we want to spread healthy living um, on this campus so part of that is in high school a lot of people are very stressed and they don't get a lot of sleep and so we want to help educate the students about how have a healthy lifestyle and be able to stay on top of things in high school. What do you and your club hope to achieve this year? This year we hope to raise a thousand dollars for PASA and with that money 
money, we are going to raise awareness especially for the school users. So what kind of like programs and um, uh, organizations are you involved with? Well right now we are selling John Bridges cards at lunch and um, these are bargain cards and it's six buy one get one free deals. So we're sell selling them on stage at lunch um, today and next week we'll be selling them at break. So come and join us. Last Friday night, the Foothill Knights beat Esperanza 30 to 10. Taylor Marie gives you the highlights of last week's game. Photographer Gabby Parker and reporter Molly Minnie sat down with ASB to get a look of what's coming up in November. Hey Knights, we're here with Activities Commissioner Andrea Navarrete and she's going to give us some inside details on what's coming up for November. So what's coming up for November? So we're preparing for Mr. Foothill that's uh, going to be December 11th and the canned food drive is also coming up. I'm here with Pep Commissioner Laura Tijustak and Dance Commissioner Blaine Kahn and they're here to talk about what they've been working on the hardest for this upcoming month. So next in January we have winter formal so we've been working really hard on preparing for decorations and different stuff for the assembly. And now, because we had such a great turnout at homecoming, we're working on Winter Formal, and hopefully it's going to be another great turnout. I'm here with Cam Dutcher, Boys Athletics, and Maddie Hansen, Girls Athletics, and they're here to update us on athletic activities. So what are the dodgeball dates? We got Boys Dodgeball going November 9th. And Girls Dodgeball is November 16th. you call your best day? The Best Day Club is trying to help everyone answer that question. Here's reporter Garrett Elms with photographer Jose Garcia on the story. The Best Day Club, we're a club that uh, goes to the monthly events that helps disabled kids learn how to surf, stand up paddle, kayak, and also have a great day at the beach. Uh, I found out about Best Day through looking at the internet. I found uh, found that they were a surfing organization that helped disabled kids, and that really appealed to me. Hey, Nikolai and Amy are going to lead us in some exercises. Hi, Amy. I 
surfing make you feel? Strong, empowered, and and happy. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part about volunteering at Best Day events is just seeing the kids smiles and how great of a time they're having at each of these events. And also uh, getting to share the experience of surfing with them also. On three, Best Day. One, two, three, Best Day! Okay. Huge news in the girls' golf world. Last week at League Finals, for the first time ever, the girls swept the first four spots in League Finals. Congrats to Katie Stribling, Elise, and Emily Sumner, and Maddie Child. These same ladies competed on Monday in the CIF Individual Finals, and Katie Stribling, Maddie Chow, and Emily Sumner are moving on to the second round of CIF Individuals. Good luck, ladies. Girls Volleyball plays tonight at Villa Park at 6 p.m. Be there, guys. Boys water polo looks to stay hot in the pool as they play in the Cal State Memorial Tournament this weekend. Good luck, boys. Football plays a huge game tonight against Villa Park at home at 7 p.m. We need everyone to get out there everyone. and make the dungeon loud and black out the stands. See you there, Knights. Put a shirt on. Hey! If we're going to learn how to be true dodgeballers, we must learn the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. But first, you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Are there any questions? If you can dodge traffic, you can dodge a ball. I think you still can, but like that's like you can't go alone though. That doesn't make sense. It's just yeah, like and you like you kind of like you have to go with friends or something at least. Do you still go trick or treating? No. Yeah, he does. No. Yeah, you, yeah, you got like a party. What do you do? Stay home. <laughs> you stay home. Okay. You still go trick or treating? Yes. Yes. For sure. Do you still go trick or treating? No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You too like. Uh, well, because people tend to look at you there. The people can't have Yeah, they make sense. Yeah, I say yeah. What do you do if you don't go trick or treating? Do you go to a party? Yeah. yeah. Do you go at home? Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I'd go. You'd go? Yeah. Do you ever get weird lunch from like parents and other kids? All the time. It doesn't matter because you get candy? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you get candy from other kids? Yeah. Do you get candy from other kids? Sometimes. Do you still go with like a bunch of people went? Yeah. I was. No? Are you too old? Yeah, too cool. Just too weird? Too cool. You're just too cool yeah. for that. You're over that? Mm -hmm. Even though it's like free candy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, You're not supposed to take free candy from strangers. Oh, that's true. Not really. No? I'm down because you're down. Do you ever get the weird looks from the people at the houses when you go trigger treat? Not really. It's not weird. Guys, trick or treat. That wraps it up for today, Knights. I'm Taryn. And I'm Aaron. And have, have a, a drug-free drug Thursday, Thursday Foothill. You already have to repeat that because I said stop. And oh. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's go. I didn't All right, have come on. How well do you know? Oh How well God. do you know? <laughs> okay. All right, no, I got, I got this. How well do you know Foothill's rival? FDP, <laughs> Child Son, Mitchell Signs. Survey, Foothill's biggest rivals.
<laughs> no, it's Knights. No. How know, well do you know Foothills know. Rivals? Okay, FTV's Help. Kyle. Help. <laughs> Whose laptop is this? Mine! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was almost really bad. Alright, right, no, no, okay, 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 okay. I don't think you guys have done a good one yet. <laughs> Come on, two! Oh my god! <laughs> that was rough. I hope you guys heard it, bro. The good news is it's okay. It's totally fine. Like, look!